What is up guys, it's your boy and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you guys something that's probably the most requested thing since I've started this channel, which I've showed before, but today I'm gonna show again with some extra things. I'm talking about hard hitting kicks. For some reason, people just wanna have those punchy kicks, and I get it, I get it, I totally do. Just beware, having punchy kicks comes with a lot of responsibility. Do not overdo it. Okay, so basically this works for literally mm. almost every kick and it's the easiest thing to do in nfl in ableton in any other doll as long as you have a soft clipper and that's the juice that's the secret that's a soft clipper just use it <laughs> as you can see my fl my mixer contains the very first thing which is a soft clipper with the default settings and that's it we're gonna use two kicks we're gonna use the classic ginseng kick gunso kick insert producer name kick because we all use the same kick and then i'm gonna use a different kick look you can recognize it by the sound and by the waveform. So it's this one, and then we're gonna use... Actually, we're gonna use more. This one, which is a bit more kind of muffled, kind of more subby than actual hearable kind of kick. Also, I have two FLs opened. But yeah, we're gonna use this one as well, and we're gonna be using an actual soft kick. So like a... Let's use this one, because it also has some higher frequencies, and uh, I'm gonna show you something that happens if you try to do the same technique with this one as well, or this kind of kick. So, we could probably use, like, a melody and just, like, a clap, just so we can actually hear how it sounds like with something else. So, I'm just gonna use a sample real quick. And now for the kicks, right? So, we have the uh, soft clipper on the master, and, uh, you know, the other way it has some uh, EQing going on and the melody as well. But that's it. We have three kicks. All of them are linked to a different mixer track. So we have the first one on one, second one on two, and so on. This one already sounds way too hard. I mean, it, it might be perfect for like something super aggressive, something like 2018 kind of trap metal where just, you know, you only want distortion. But in this case, this kick is already ready to be used the way it is. And I even turn it down a bit so if i were to just make uh the same kick pattern that i'm going to use with the other ones just like a i forgot how i started the sentence but here's the pattern you know it's a it's a punchy kick and that's it like literally that's it for this kick specifically personally i would probably turn it down like four decibels or something Or I may even not use it at all. Maybe I'd actually uh, pitch it down a bit. Whatever. The kick, the raw kick is punchy, right? So you don't have anything to do with this. This is the easiest method. Now, the second method, which pretty much works with any kicks, except for the third one, kinda, you'll see. I'm just gonna cut this pattern and put it on the second one. And I'm just gonna play this. The kick already kind of hits, but it's subby, you can't really hear it, uh, like on a phone or something, and you want your mix to be listenable on anything. Here's the thing, this is the easiest thing. Ready? Okay, so you open the kick, you have the wrench tab, and you increase this volume by a few decibels. You get it? <laughs> It's literally this easy. All you gotta do is just turn up the volume. Why won't you use this volume? Because, well, this only goes up to, like, technically 0 dB. Because the sample is already uh, reduced by, like, 5 decibels or something. So you could just turn this up instead, since we took this one up to, like, 5.7 decibels. So it shouldn't be a, a much of a difference, right? Same thing. Although some, you know, samples require a bit more boosting, so even if you turn this up, you still might have to turn this one up. This is way too much, but like, you can do this by using this instead of this, or both. And this is the same thing for the third kick, but this one may have a little bit of a treble problem depending on, on the higher frequencies. So this one, if I play it, you more hear it than actually feel it. So doing the same method, we're just gonna increase the volume by 7 decibels, whatever. Still not that punchy, but it's a lot more mid, treble, high, whatever, uh, heavy. So you hear it even more than actually feel it. So if I turn it up even more. 
See what I mean? Like it gets distorted to the point where it just it sounds like you're hitting something instead of an actual kick hitting this is what you can do with these kind of kicks if you want to use them specifically these you can either just turn them down a bit and like pitch and i, I took it down like what eight notes something like eight notes and even an octave It still sounds fine, but here's the thing. You can use EQs, load an EQ2 on it, listen to this. And it sounds pretty much identical to the second kick. And all we had to do was just pitch it down and slightly change the, the EQ. And this works for a lot of kicks. It's really easy to make new kicks out of other kicks like this. And the secret thing is, use a soft clipper, because if I were to disable the soft clipper... First of all, my mastery is already way past zero, which is not good. The soft clipper really makes everything... scissor, in a weird way. It glues everything together, especially for beats. So. That's it. <laughs> I hope you managed to learn something from this. It, uh, I truly do, because please stop asking me <laughs> how I do this. It's so easy. This works for any DAW as long as you have some sort of soft clipper uh, enabled and you can use a saturator with the soft clipping enabled. Uh, I don't know for other DAWs, but I'm pretty sure there is a soft clipper for pretty much any DAW. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you want to support me, you can, you know, subscribe, press the like, whatever. Uh, I also have a 50% discount going until D. 16th so you have six days to get all of my drum kits and loop packs uh, for 50 percent off and also i'm still doing the custom producer tags on fiverr so if you want to get a custom producer tag voiced by me you can just go uh, on the link below and i'll do them for you but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video it was your boy Gunso, and i'll see you guys in the next one peace